First of all, is the sky blue? Yes. Okay. Well, at least we got that out, right? Okay. So, here's the deal. The explanation is actually simple. It just takes a little while to explain. It's composed primarily of nitrogen. As you come down, the thickness gets more. Right. Okay? Right. Well, more right. atmosphere, more scattering. Right. The sky gets more blue. Okay? So in the daytime, it's, quote, sky blue. That's actually a pale blue. Right. It's a very pale blue. As you go to twilight, that sucker gets deep. Yeah. It gets deep blue. And so much more blue gets taken out of the sun. I, I just love how violent deep blue is. <laughs> it's deep. And if, if you take out that much blue, the sun ain't got no blue light left at all. So what color is it going to turn? Kind of red. Kind of red. So here's a question that uh, resonates with my, um, I shall say, razor sharp acumen. Why is the sky blue? <laughs> <laughs> You mean, that hasn't been answered since childhood? You know what? Here's the problem. I asked once, and they were like, mind your business, and that was the end of it. No. <laughs> well, you might say, I want to become an atmospheric scientist. It is my business. Ah, that would have that been Well, there you very, go. That would have been a very snappy comeback <laughs> for a three-year-old. Why is this guy put mind your business? I, it is my business. I would like to be an atmospheric scientist. So. All right. So if the answer is... Easy to understand, it's just not simple. The operational definition of space is 62 miles above our ground. Earth's surface, correct. Earth's surface, where you can just see space, basically. Because the atmosphere, because the atmosphere that atmosphere remains, is, of, there's still atmosphere there, but it's not dense enough to scatter blue light and render it a glow to prevent you from seeing the night sky. As if the atmosphere were half as thick as it is? Well, then it would be only be 30. <laughs> it would be 30, 31 30, 30, 31 miles. miles. That would be space. Well, suppose we're a tenth of it. Then it would be three miles. Suppose we didn't have an atmosphere. You'd be in space just standing here, sitting here like this. Should that be called space? Our definition of space is linked to how, to, to the circumstances of our atmosphere. What would your operational definition of space be if it is not indeed uh, this, this particular Either in atmospheric Link. I take out the atmosphere, either you're in orbit or you're going somewhere. Our definition of space is linked to how to... The operational definition of space is 62 miles above our ground. Or, or just the There's still atmosphere there, but it's not dense enough to scatter blue light and render it a glow to prevent you from seeing the night sky. As if the atmosphere were half as thick as it is, well, that would be space. Kind of makes sense because you can't breathe in space, but... You also cannot breathe at 35,000 feet. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> what would your operational definition of space be if it is not indeed uh, this, this particular in atmospheric link? And then you're in space. I, you got you problem are with using that? gravity as the measure of what makes space. The eighths of one inch off this is what makes it's surface, correct? The surface where you can just see space, basically. And it's why Neil thinks space should be defined by gravity, not by not what the circumstances of our atmosphere happen to be.